Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Heffy Doodle video. Today we're going to be making a fun slimline card. Let's talk about the products we're using. This is our Dear to Me stamp set along with the matching dies, of course. We're also going to be using the Wanna Build a Snowman. I want just the tree from this stamp set and so I do have the matching dies that go along with it as well. We're going to be pulling in this roundabout sentiment and then we have a matching die for it as well. And then I also needed the classic sentiments because I need Merry Christmas, which that's why it's perfect. We have our first snow stencil. And then I have our Hugs Heffy Cuts along with our Slimline Scenery Dies. We have some alcohol marker friendly cardstock. And then I have some various Heffy Doodle cardstock as well. So let's jump into it. I have a piece of cardstock. This is actually cut down to four inches by... Uh, eight and a half inches so it's a little bit bigger than a slim line that I would typically make but I'm just going to use a little bit of heavy tape and tack this down to the front of that and then I'm not so worried about the bottom but I'm going to bring in some shark tooth ink on three pigment ink and a blender brush and I'm just going to blend that ink right over the top of the snowfall so that's going to make it look like our background is nice and snowy and uh, this is a great stencil for that it also has the great slopes as well on either end there. And then we need to move this over. So even though this is slimline, you can make your slim lines or your um, regular six by six stencils work for a slim line. Some of them do, some of them not as easily, but uh, I just picked this up, moved it over, and we didn't have too much of an issue. I do want a little bit more, so I'm gonna bring on some liquid pixie dust. This is another thing by Ink on 3, and I'm just gonna splatter that all over that background. It'll almost make, look, make it look like we have finer detail snow, or possibly even some stars in the background. So just splattering that all over that background, and then I need to let that dry, so I'm gonna set that off to the side when we're done. I went ahead and stamped out all of my images that I used. Again, those come from the Dear to Me stamp set and the Wanna Build a Snowman. And I stamped those on that alcohol marker friendly cardstock because I am using my Copics. And right now all I'm doing is putting a line of color on these branches. I'm gonna make them look like white birch. And that's super easy to do. I think I have a C3 Copic here. And I am i don't wanna blend that out. I want that to look like there's a little bit of shadowing there. So I'm just marking one of the sides. And I'm kinda of going back and forth as to which side I do. And then we'll also do this with a little stump down here as well. So really super simple coloring. And then I'll bring in some E50 for the top of the trunk. It's so subtle you almost don't see it. I'll bring in that C3 again for the bottoms of our mushrooms. And then we have some R14. And then I'll bring in a little bit of R08. It's kind of funny how the R14 would be a lighter color than the R08, but that's just how it works. <laughs> Now we'll go with our deer. Now I, I started off thinking I was going to have him be this light. So I put that color all over him. And I decide after this that I'm going to change my mind. But that's okay. I just put down a wash of color, which is typically how I color anyway, starting with my lightest. And then I come in with this E99. And I started putting that color down, putting some shadowing and shading, and then I realized, no, I want him to be a little bit darker than this. So I'm just going to take that E99 and color almost all over his body. We'll leave the, his underbelly and that little spot on his face to stay the E35 color. And I'll just use the E99 as a little bit of a shadow for that, and then I can blend it out with the E35. Now that I made that a little darker, we need one more color. So I'm gonna bring in some E37 and just put a little bit of shadowing where I think it might look good. Um, no real rhyme or reason as to where exactly I'm putting it. I don't have a light source. So I'm just sticking down that color and then blending it with the E99. And I did the same thing for our other little deer. Now for the Christmas tree, I'm gonna start with this color. I don't remember what it is and I didn't show it. So I do apologize for that. I think it's BG96, to be honest with you. So I think it was a blue-green. And I just love the way that looked for a tree. I thought it was nice and dark. I didn't want it to be like your typical um, Kelly Green kind of color. I wanted this to be a little bit more pine color. So that's why I put that first color down. And then I go on to coloring the rest of it like I forgot I wanted a second color on the green, but I'll come back in later. So we'll use our R14 as our 
little wraparound piece and of course bring in the R08 for a little bit of shading. And then for the bobbles, I wanted to keep those silver. So I brought in a Secura jelly roll pen. So it just adds a little bit of sparkle to each of those bulbs without changing the color really. So they're, they're mostly silver, but not entirely. They're almost clear with just some sparkle. And here is where I remembered. So I bring in that G99. I thought those two colors complemented each other really nicely. And all I'm doing is sticking a little bit of that color down underneath where like it seems like the tree is overlapping. And I won't go back and blend that out because I really do like how harsh that looks. I think it looks like it's good shadowing. Next, I need to bring in my matching dies. So I'm bringing in the tree from the Wanna Build a Snowman and then all of our pieces from our Dear to Me stamp set and the coordinating die. And I'll tack those down with a little bit of heffy tape. You'll notice on that left-hand side, I did cut a slope using that uh, Slimline Scenery die. And now I'm just bringing in a white gel pen to add a little bit of highlights to the back end of our deer. And then I'll also use those on our mushrooms. I don't know what it is about red capped mushrooms. They need little white dots. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Uh, and I think in the end, that little pop of red is just perfect. I brought in my three inch Xyron sticker maker along with some cherry on top um, cardstock from Heffy Doodle. And I'm going to take the hugs die and tack that down. I'm going to cut that out three times. And I'm also going to, I wanted this banner to match. So I'm bringing in that BG96 color and just coloring where I, you know, how it's going to fill in for that whole banner. And I keep checking to make sure that I'm getting it all colored in. And I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And then I'll run the hugs through my die cutting machine three times. Now, having used the Xyron sticker maker, it gives those a sticker back. And because these are a little bit thinner dies, um, or at least the die cut is, it's thinner lines, that sticker maker is so beautiful for it. And it it's great because it does give you a little bit of wiggle room, but as soon as you stop messing around with it and you're done, it does become permanent. So it's not going anywhere. But you do have a, a few seconds of wiggle room if you don't get it on there properly. All right, now I want to stamp my sentiment on our roundabout die. So I've pulled in the Sending You, and I'm going to use my magic powder bag, ink that up with some clear embossing ink, and stamp that down in the center, and then cover that with some white embossing powder. And then I'll heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And then it does, this die gives it a couple of embossed lines so that you can make it look 3D. I need to stamp another sentiment, so that is where our classic sentiments come in for Merry Christmas, and I'll just stamp that at the bottom of this piece of white cardstock and trim that out. Now we can start building our scene. You guys know I love to make a scene on a card. So I am going to just use some liquid glue and adhere all these pieces down. You could use foam tape in different spots, but I wanted this to be a little bit mailer friendly. So the, I do use a little bit of foam tape, but it's only on that sending you banner. For everything else, we're going to just tack it down using some liquid glue, and I've put three birch pieces on each side, and I'm not concerned about it hanging off the edges. I kind of like that. And now I'll bring in our snowbank from the Slimline Scenery dies, and I'll glue that down right over the top of that. So it looks like the trees are poking up through the bottom. And then we'll trim off all of that excess using our scissors. It's so fun to see it come together, especially after cutting off all the excess pieces, you have this beautiful little scene. I'm gonna play around a little bit with placement. And once I am happy with that, I'll put a little bit of foam tape behind this sending you. And then I'll tack that down. Not entirely just yet, I wanna make sure that I have everything fairly centered. And then when I do, I can push that down. And then I'll use a little bit of liquid glue on the edges of the banner because otherwise that's just kind of floating there. So that's where the liquid glue comes in. But this is still very mailer friendly. All right, now we can start tacking down the rest of our pieces. I'm gonna start with the outside. We'll do our little birch stump and our mushrooms. And like I said, don't you love how that little pop of red from the mushrooms kind of draws your eye in? It's great with that and I forgot to say that that uh, background color is Blueberry Bliss cardstock by Heffy Doodle. All right, now we've got our Merry Christmas, and I'll tack that down with that same liquid glue. 
And now I can peel off the back of our sticker paper for the word hugs. And then I can stick that down. So it says sending you Merry Christmas hugs. Love it. And then we'll put down our tree. I put it down thinking it was centered. Turns out I, it wasn't very centered. So I will, thankfully with the liquid glue, I have a little bit of wiggle room so I can pick that up after I realize that it's not centered and I can move that over just a little bit. I mean, it's sort of stuck, but mm, it didn't do any damage to our background. And then we'll tack down both of our little deer. I love this and I love this color combo so much so much. Okay, now we've got our base, which measures seven inches by eight and a half inches. I'm going to score that at three and a half inches. And I really surprised myself. Normally I would do something on the inside. I must have forgotten. I had a lot going on the day I was filming, um, but I'll probably go back and add something to the center or to the inside of this because I love to do that. And then we'll just take our liquid glue and we'll adhere down our card panel to our card base. And there's, it's, that's it. I love how this turned out. I'm so happy with it. And I hope that you liked it too. And I hope it inspires you. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And please be sure to check out all that Heffy Doodle has going on over on Facebook, their Instagram and Pinterest and their blog. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.